Get over, everybody. Well, for today's bit of DIY fun, we're going to be turning this old gas cylinder into a compressed air tank. Now, it's very easy to do once you get the valve out, which is about the hardest part of the entire thing. Uh, I will put a couple of links to a few videos on actually how to get these out. But getting the valve out of a gas cylinder is probably the hardest thing you will do in your life. Of course, first thing is make sure it's empty. This thing's been sitting... Uh, with the valve open for a couple of months so it's perfectly fine and then once you do get the valve out if you don't bust it up I actually was a bit worried about breaking the whole top off and the thread being stuck in but thankfully that didn't happen once you get it out you've got to fill the tank up with water empty it out and let it dry out completely so stick a uh, either use a heat gun just to blow it off which is what I did then once you've done that either paint the inside or put oil in it I actually just put some oil in, just ran that around, because since you are using it with compressed air, it will fill up with our uh, rust very quickly, since they don't actually coat the inside of the tank with anything because of the uh, the LPG. They don't want to contaminate it. But once you've got that out, it's pretty much you're pretty much right to do whatever you want. I know some people actually cut a door on it and put some holes in, make some pretty neat little uh, furnaces and things out of them, which are. If I do find a bigger one, like a 9 or 10 kilo cylinder, I will actually do that at some point. But you will find that once you get the valve out, it is tapered. So basically when the, uh, the thread is tapered, so when you are, when it's wound in, the f further in you wind it, the tighter it will get and the better seal you'll get on the, uh, the cylinder, which is why they, um, they're so hard to get out. And they also put this, uh, what's similar to Loctite, like the um, the industrial equivalent of Loctite they put on it to actually stop it uh, leaking and coming out. But they, um, they take the standard BSP, British Standard Pipe, measurements. I'm just using 15mm, quarter inch. I think it's quarter inch anyway. Um, yeah, I'm using, yeah, 15mm threads fit it fine. Well, that's going to go in first. Of course, you need to uh, gaffer tape, Teflon tape, not gaffer tape, sorry, Teflon tape the whole thing together. That's going to be uh, for the valve. It's a threaded union for copper pipe, but it will work on uh, rubber as long as you wind it tight enough. A couple will go in. T-joint goes on the top, and that'll go on either side. And then another coupler on this side, and a ball valve, and I might even have an air gun or something onto it. I'll just pick this up as well, because... I've kind of figured out something to do with these industrial fuses that I've got, still got thousands of. It fits very snugly in PVC barrel. If I can connect it to this somehow with it for compressed air, I think we might have a bit of fun. See if we can punch a hole through a television with a industrial fuse. That'd be kind of fun. But anyway, let's get all of these uh, unpacked and get it all together. There we are, we're all unpacked. Well, got the uh, T-joint and the um, coupler for the ball valve on. It's fairly straightforward. It's all just, uh, all just screws together. Make sure you do put lots of uh, Teflon tape on. Otherwise, you won't get a good enough seal and it will leak and won't be very efficient. Well, unfortunately, on this side, as you can see, the uh, handle for the cylinder actually is in the way of the um, T-joint. So I think I may have to be using this to cut a small amount out of the way of it so I can be able to get the uh, flared coupler on but yeah that just goes on the end it's fairly straightforward as well putting those on as well but anyway I'll uh, get the grinder set up and cut off a bit of that yes I know there will be a lot of people freaking out when they see this but the tank is empty of gas so you don't need to be I may need to secure it a bit. Okay, let's try that again.
pair of scissors. Oh, that's hot. Ah, shit, that's hot. Why am I using scissors when I've got a screwdriver? Oh, yeah, I left a bit of a tag on. Ah, shit, that's still hot. Yeah, I've left a bit of a tag on right there. Well, that came up all right. Yeah, I did leave a bit of a mess there, but that's all right. The good thing is our uh, valve fits on. It's actually come up quite nice now. Of course, I've got to uh, Teflon tape it, but anyway, you get the idea of what it's going to look like. Now, also, don't actually try and cut this off if you are going to be using it to put air on, because when you do cut those welds, you will weaken the metal of the tank, and you could risk it blowing up, so don't do that, but... Cutting this, cutting like what I've done, you should be alright because it didn't get hot enough to uh, do anything to it. And there we have it. It's all together, got the valve on, and it's all nice and sealed. Let's uh, get her over to the air compressor and put some pressure in it to see how it uh, performs. Okay, well unfortunately the uh, air compressor battery is flat, so I've just had to use the hand pump to... Um, I put about 20 pounds of pressure in roughly. I can't really tell because there's no gauge on it. But anyway, let's uh, give it a shot. Well, that's not bad. Blew that bit of plastic over. <laughs> that's, uh, that should work nicely. There is a little bit of a leak coming from that ball valve, but I'm not really worried about that. It's bound to uh, happen on things like this. But the good thing is it's not leaking from any of the uh, threads and things, so... That's a bonus. Do I really need to say anything about this? <laughs> I know somebody's going to want me to turn this into a compressed air cannon. And as much as I'd love to, it's, uh, yeah, I don't know. It might happen, it might not. I've got nothing to couple it to, though. Oh, well. That's how you build an air compressor out of a gas cylinder. Be safe, don't do anything silly with it. Um, of course, yeah, compressed air can be a bit dangerous. Make sure you properly clean your tank out once you got the valve out. I will put a couple of videos on uh, how to get these out. I just used a hammer and a mason's chisel and just smacked it out, but... Yeah, there's dozens of different ways of doing it. But, uh, anyway, have fun. You seriously think I'd let you guys down? Of course we just had to try this, didn't we? I've got a champagne cork up it. Let's just see what it does. Although I don't think I'll be able to see because the uh the light. Let's see if I can get the focus on it. No, it's not gonna do it. Bloody cameras. Oh well, let's just see what it does. Well that's got some power to it. Yeah, can't wait to get the fridge compressor fixed up on this one. 100 PSI and a Maybe that down the barrel through a television. That'd be kind of fun. Thanks for watching.